You know, the first charcoal cook of the year needs to be something really special. And today I am making some beef ribs. I've done them before, but never on camera, and I'm not really good at them. So we're going to see if I do a pass or a fail. All right, let's start. We're going to use some of Rick Galliendo's Texas barbecue. We're going to give these ribs a nice thick coat. bottom, the sides, all right let's put these on the Weber kettle. We're going to put them with the rib side down. We'll cap it and check it out in about 45 minutes. 45 minutes are down and we're running at about 400 degrees. And I just want to show you that, I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're getting some bubbling going on on the top. We're getting some retraction here on the bone. I'm just going to put them over like this for about 15 minutes. Definitely see the retraction on the bone. Then we're going to yank them off and wrap them. Our 15 minutes is up. We got some more bone pulling away. Looks absolutely amazing. All right, let's cover these up. Now I'm going to treat these just like I would, you know, like pork ribs. Take my rib, throw it in there, a little bit of vinegar, we're going to add some butter to this, you know, I'm going to wrap it, I'm going to do it again. You know, and here's the deal as well. I'm not cooking for judges. I'm cooking here in my backyard for my friends and myself, my neighbors. I don't care. You know, as long as they taste good and my friends want to come back for more, that's all that matters to me. If I were doing this for a judge, it would be totally different. All right, let's put these back onto the Weber. Right, we're going rib side down again, just like that cover it for about 45 minutes. Still cooking at around 350 to 400 degrees. The temp on these ribs are checking in at about 207. So I think it's time to take them off and let's put some barbecue sauce on them. Let's take a look at our ribs. Oh, that was a barbecue bottle, barbecue sauce bottle. That looks good, good, good. Really like the, even though it was coming in at 207, how juicy it is. And you see this rib pulling back, the bone. And you just see the sauce on there. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Let's check out this next one. Oh, that aroma. Wow. These ribs, seriously, they have just juiciness written all over them. The bone, the meat is pulling back on that bone. Same with up there. Excellent. Excellent. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not the biggest fan of barbecue sauce. I'm not against it. But I'm just going to baste it on. And the same with this one. I think that'll give it a nice coating. I think we're going to be okay. I'm not going to worry about the bottom. I'm going right. to put these back on the Weber kettle with the bone side down. And we're going to cook these for another 15, 20 minutes at around 400 degrees. It's been 15 minutes and I just want to show you these. I mean, the color on this rib is absolutely beautiful. We're going to take the rib off. We'll take this one off as well. I mean, wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, it is just you and me and a slab of ribs. These are the beef ribs. We used Galliendo's Texas style barbecue. I mean, beef ribs, Texas style, go together perfectly, right? We use G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, the honey. I love that stuff, so good. 
We cooked these things, we wrapped them, we added a little bit of butter and vinegar to them, nothing crazy. I mean, oh, oh I bet these things just tear apart. You ready for this? Just tear apart goodness. Now it's not fall off the bone, and a lot of people like fall off the bone. I do too, and now if I were in a competition, I probably wouldn't go fall off the bone. But it's time to try these out. Mm. Yeah, heck yeah. You know, at the beginning, I said pass or fail. I'm gonna say pass. I'm gonna give it a B plus. You know, I'm sure if I did this all the time, I could perfect it, but just doing it for the first time on camera, that rocked. Mmm. Very tender. Juicy, full of flavor. I'm curious to know how you do it. What did I do wrong? I mean, now don't judge me based upon if I were going to a competition. I'm just talking about, here I am in the backyard. I got some friends coming over. Or Mrs. Dude's coming out here to hang out with me. Or you are. And I made ribs. You know, maybe you don't have any Galliendos or Uncle Steve's or, or any other rub. Use the Four Seasons salt, pepper, garlic, onion on these. You're not going to go wrong. These are awesome. Here's the deal. If you end up making these, tell me how it goes. I would really be curious to know. These things are so tender and delicious, full of flavor. If I wanted to go to the extreme, I would put more barbecue sauce on this thing, man. I just have barbecue sauce everywhere. That wouldn't be a bad deal either. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Peace. Hang loose. We'll talk to you on the next episode of the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. Going back to eating these. Because, damn.